Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. Hey, today we are in Ryan, Texas. We are checking out a bike shop. This guy is one of the premier bike builders uh, in the United States. Uh, it's, got, it's, it's this guy named Mike. He recently had to change the shop's name. He used to go by Mike's Bikes BMX shop, but there were some issues. We'll talk to him about it. Um, with with having the, the same name as, as another um, set of Mike's bikes and I think in California and so he's now called Fat Lip BMX but we're gonna go talk to him today and check out his shop so let's go and this is the man Mike what's up man what's up man Thank you for having us today. No problem, how y'all doing? Good. Um, so, you have been known all this time as Mike's Bikes BMX. Mike's we, Bikes, yeah. Now we're into, we, got, we had to make a name change. Yeah, so it was Mike's about. Bikes BMX Shop was, okay. was mine, yeah. We ran under that for the last uh, four, four years, three, four years, something like that. Um, yeah, so, you know. Short, short story was just. Yeah, short story. <laughs> Long, uh, short story, whatever. Short, long story. <laughs> Obviously, I was um, doing too much. Uh, doing, being too successful. Man, I don't know if that's what you call it, but um, maybe I would call it, I was, I was having too much fun. So That's a good way to look yeah, at it. Yeah, that's the way I yeah. like it. Yeah, so it was just a trademark deal with Mike's Bikes. Um, a Mike's Bikes, you know, there's hundreds of Mike's Bikes. Nationwide, mom and pop stores has been forever, man. If your name yeah. is Mike or Michael or anything like that, and you're in the bikes. <laughs> and you good. you sell a bicycle tube, it's Mike's bike. Right. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, it was just a little simple trademark deal, uh, no big deal. So we played by you know played by the rules. I got a mm -hmm. trademark on it. I respect that. I had no clue, you know, that I was stepping yeah. on everybody's toes. Um, but yeah, I am you're just building fire bikes. Right, That's right, right. Bikes. BMX bikes. Yeah. Just um, whatever. It's selling a lot of them. So yeah, to be. Um, to be uh, recognized by a billion dollar corporation that might be worried about me, that uh, that was flattering me. I'm cool with <laughs> That's it. That's a good way to look yeah. at it though, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. It, it is. is. I always try to look at everything positive. You know? Yeah, because I'm sure it was tough to like, you know, build this, build this brand, build this shop, build your name out there, get it out there, and have it mm -hmm. actually more recognized than these other guys. Right. right. Or you're like this little one man company almost like, right? And yeah. Like, yeah. And then now for those big guys to come after you, I mean, you got to be doing something right. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what everybody keeps saying. Um, it's still tough though. I yeah. know it's still tough. It is, man. Um, we have, I've worked real hard, uh, worked real hard to get where I'm at. And then for somebody to say, hey man, you can't use your name. It's like, man, I really, that's my name though. Yeah. You know? And people and, know me by that. And that is your name. It's not like you were like, oh, let me go find a, a popular bike name. And then we'll jump on that. And that right, right. That's your name. So right. It's like that's even harder. Like, yeah, it, it is. It, it was. Um, it was a hard pill to swallow. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, at the same time, I guess it's kind of a good thing uh, because it's kind of going to push us to the next level. Yeah, that's forcing you to, to to go in a different direction. Right, right, right. Make some upgrades. We're doing. So I do a lot of the the custom built bikes a lot. You see on the wall over there, um, but. You know, the, the ultimate goal in all reality is still build custom bikes, but yeah. is to sell the new out of the box, you know, bikes like, yeah. you know, SE and GT and, um, you know, Monza or whatever, yeah. you know, like that. We're, we're dealers for a lot of those guys, uh, some of the bigger bigger dealerships, so Haro, you know, all the, all the, the yeah. big name brands out there. Uh, we do a lot of that online uh, through the website. So eventually, you know, it'll all kind of move on to that. Yeah. And, and I'll still be able to, um, Build the custom bikes and yeah. you still have fun doing that. Yeah. So, you know, anything. How, did, how do we get the name? Fat so, Lip. so Fat Lip. Um, Tell us about that. Fat Lip USA. So it's kind of like a. This is an exclusive. So y'all got the I first. Like y'all got the first video of <laughs> since the, what the name change just took, went down. What two days ago, Brandon? I think. <laughs> so yeah, yeah and, and everybody, everybody is out there in the world. They're like. What's going on over Mike's? Did, did he sell out? You know, he sold to this big corp. No, I didn't. So Fat Lip, when I was told I couldn't use my name, Mike, Mike's Bikes BMX Shop, my name will always be my name, Mike. Uh, so it kind of goes both ways, man. It's almost like taking a blow to the face. 
you know, mm -hmm. you walk away out of a fight, man. I mean, everybody's yeah. been there, done that. You know, you walk <laughs> big fight. Away to lip, yeah. All right. Um, so it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a hidden message, you know. I'm gonna take yeah, that yeah. fat lip. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna build something bigger and better. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get the whole world on bicycles, BMX, um, and, and try to get it out there. We give we give a lot back to the BMX community. You know, um, we try to. We do a lot down for a trade day in Houston, okay. uh, where we do a lot of giveaways down there for for the less fortunate kids yeah, that's that awesome. uh, don't even get any kind of bikes. So we do a lot of that, and it's good to see everybody on bikes. And if I can do it, I love bicycles. If I can do it and make a living doing it at the same time, then you know that's all the better. You know? yeah. So it's a win-win for everybody. Uh, fat lip also. You know, you've always we were all kids, so. You know, you've, you've fallen off the bike before, <laughs> yeah. busted a lip on the bars. <laughs> Fat lip, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. yeah. So it's no, kind of it's kind of like all around. You yeah. know, um, that's like a bad that. name. I got a good team behind me, uh, so I think we're gonna go far with this. I, I don't think we're gonna go far. I know we are. Mm -hmm. So we're ramping up, getting ready to build yeah. warehouses. You know, to fill them up with bikes, new out of the box bikes, where you can go online, uh, and it's BMX. You know, you can get all the best. So I'm gonna specialize, and you can go there now. FatLipUSA.com. Yeah, but you can see all the retro bikes that Haro puts out. SE bike, you know, SE, yeah. you know, the big rippers based off PK Ripper, mm -hmm. um, and then all your GT, you know, the, the performers, the retro bikes that these companies offer that um, our average follower doesn't know is available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you tell somebody, hey man, Haro just dropped a you know 45th or 40th anniversary uh, freestyle. I didn't know that. You know, yeah, so. Yeah. And let's start following some some cats like me and you or Brandon or whatever. Uh, they don't know about that. So, you know, get that out there. Yeah. With one website, you can get all the old custom retro yeah. throwback bikes. Whether it be in it, and not break the bank. You know, so, yeah. some, you know, some of these old school bikes. So you can buy, like, new bikes, new retro bikes. But then also, if you really want to get, like, that, that custom, that custom build. And, like, I think that's kind of where you're already, that, that's how you kind of made your Right, game, right, yeah, 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 yeah. So... Tell us a little bit about that. Like, how did you get started with building like these really like you know one-off bikes for some of these famous people? Yeah. So it, it all started uh, when I in, in a driveway when I was six years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but that's how we all started. That, that's, it, right? that's it. That's right. how it started. What, it, what was your first bike? Uh, my first yeah. bike. My first bike was a a, a nineteen eighty nine Murray. I don't remember the exact model, but it was maroon. <laughs> Right. It was, uh, it was, I can't remember if it came from Walmart or Montgomery Wards. Okay. <laughs> um, but my, you know, my dad got it and it was a cheap bike. Um, other than that, we weren't, you know, my family wasn't fortunate enough back then to where we could get the nice bikes like yeah. GT and stuff like that. That's that same with us, um, man. I had friends down the road and we, you'd watch them. Really? Yeah. Didn't even know what it was at yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Until uh, one of my friends let me ride his and I was like, man, you could have filled the difference. Yeah. You feel this bike is light. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, we didn't know anything about chrome ollie then, but you could tell it's lighter. The cranks were made better. Sealed yeah. bearings and the wheels. So I was like, man, instead of just pedaling a lot, you know, you just take a few pedals yeah. and glide, you know. Yeah. So that was, I've always been a, a gearhead, uh, anything with wheels, and I think it started then. So. Um, and you've just been on bikes ever Yeah, since. man. My dad found a 19, this was in 92. I was 12 years old. The bike is still here. Oh, you still have it? A 1992 GT Interceptor, which okay. is a rare blue splash color. I uh, found that at the pawn shop for, I think it was $80 back then. And, and he made, he put it on a layaway and made yeah. payments. So if that bike wasn't at that pawn shop, I wouldn't have, I would never had a good quality bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was the one. And you know, throughout the years, I've really never messed with it. I hadn't had time. Um, but it just, you know, it's a reminder that sits there. Yeah. It's actually one That's of awesome the, that you still have it though. Yeah, yeah. It's actually one of the, the most rare GTs um, in the 90s lineup, in the race 90s lineup. Uh, Blue Splash, real hard to find. I've, I've searched for them for other ones because nice. you get fixed on collecting yeah, a child's yeah. bike. I yeah. found three in the last 20 years. Okay. So I had uh, I had to buy, so I, I was similar. Like Brandon and I grew up, like, you know, we didn't have a, a lot of money either. And I think your, Bernie, your first bike was like a- Mine was a Huffy. Right, and yeah. I had like a mongoose, okay. right? But the cheapest mongoose didn't even have alloy wheels on it. You know, but my dad was like, "Hey, you got your bike. If you want right. something else, you got to go buy it. Your bike yourself. Right. So I had to go get a paper rod and do all that kind of stuff." 
and I had a, a, a Diamondback Silver Street. Okay. That was All my right. first one that I bought myself, and I was like, oh, this is my, you know, it was, it was so awesome. I remember just going through the magazines and like just drooling over, you know, like, oh, I can't wait to get this bike. Right, right, right. Sold that one and then got a Kuohara laser light mm -hmm. and uh, kept that thing immaculate and um, went off to college. And I came home from college one day and my bike's not in the living room anymore. I used to have it upside down with the number plate, everything on it, you know, everything. Right. And I was like, mom, where's my bike? She's like, oh, I forgot to tell you, I sold it. Oh. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, I sold it. How much did you get for it? 50 bucks. Oh man. Yeah. And I'm like, mom, <laughs> the pedals couldn't even, couldn't even 50 yeah. bucks. Not gonna replace that. Yeah, so it's awesome that you have you know that bike from back in the day. That's, I, I that's thought cool. I thought you were gonna say it got stolen because that's the oh that's the other that's that happened. Happened. that's uh <laughs> the number one that's what happens all the right. time they get stolen. Yeah. I mean, most of my custom builds on the eighties and nineties bikes they man that bike got stolen. Yeah. Um, I've even had people like, hey man, did you steal all those bikes back in the eighties? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> man. it was it was all in the shit. I was reading the future, man. I got all, I got everybody's bike in the world stacked up back there, and I'm, I'm building for. <laughs> For y'all, America. <laughs> if we only knew. Yeah. Right? Like, I mean. Yeah. It's, um, um, it's like, like anything else. Like comics. Yeah. Right? Star Wars toys, whatever. I, like, I really crazy. think, I really think the, the old school BMX and, and mid school BMX, I really think it's taken a turn as far as like classic cars. Mm. Um, to where, I mean, there is, there's right now, um, Right now, there needs to be, and I should probably patent this or whatever, but hey, you know, take it and run with it. I'm, I'm cool, but well, be there, needs to be like a, <laughs> there needs to be like a Kelly Blue Book of bikes, man, because oh, we, yeah. we do have a, we have a very, very large following. That's the number one asked question we get. Um, how much is my bike worth? Yeah, how much is yeah. my bike worth? And, and like, sometimes I'll just get that. How much is my, well, what kind of bike do you have, man? Yeah. But I just yeah. can't. I mean, literally, I get hundreds of messages yeah. a day asking how much my bike, my bike is worth. There's Facebook pages out there and stuff like yeah. that, but to get something narrowed down, it'd be pretty cool, you know. Yeah, that would be. It'd be really interesting to see, like, yeah, how would you, you know, you, how would you update that? Someone would have to like sit there at a computer, lots of time, get on the e on eBay yeah. and check out all these places that have all these bikes and what are they getting sold for and stuff. So, all right, yeah, really it's a good idea. It well, is. Might need to edit that out and you go home. And then <laughs> play we got to figure like, hey, that worked. Dude. <laughs> that, that worked. Yeah, we were good. <laughs> Yeah. So so you start, so let's get back to your, how did you get started um, building these like high end bikes like what was the somebody reached out to you what? right yeah so you know naturally I was a collector uh, like a lot of people and then I never really got out of the BMX scene so I always had BMX bikes around the shop around the house um, and then just around the garage just messing with them always had stuff throughout yeah with the custom car and truck scene and all that we'd always do custom builds for people not on this level you know just yeah. like in the garage yeah. Know? Um, COVID hit, I had a bunch of frames that we were getting ready to, to sell. I was wanting to get out of the hobby. It was just, I was collecting way too much. Um, <laughs> and and I, I needed to get out of the hobby. Uh, so COVID hit and the, the BMX roundup that I was gonna go through, I think that was 2019 or 2020, right when COVID hit. Um, they canceled it because, I believe they canceled it because of COVID and we didn't make it. So started selling you know some of the frame sets I had online on, on just Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. And then uh, I had a friend suggest, hey man, you need to just get on. We started selling crazy amounts of bikes yeah. on there. Um, you need to just get on Facebook and, and create you a page, just do it off your page. Yeah. Um, so we did that. And then we you know, created an Instagram page because I'm, I'm not really that big of a social media <laughs> guy, um, even though I am now. Yeah, you're uh, kind of forced to be, right? Right. So it just started from there and then Next thing you know, man, we're building uh, bikes for Trey the Truth and Dana White and, you know, a bunch of big celebrities. Yeah. Um, so it just it just kind of skyrocketed out of there. Uh, of course, you know, when, when you're building some of the... I don't really think that, you know, I, I know they're cool, but to me, I'm like, it's another bike, man, it's cool. I put my touch yeah, on yeah. it, yeah. and everybody's like, no, nah, man, that's, that's awesome and stuff, and I'm like... Yeah, yeah, it is, man. I just sometimes I, I feel like I work hard, but I don't feel like I was put in the place, you know, where mm. I should be building for these guys. 
Uh, but I, I've been blessed enough that, that well, they I, like them. They keep yeah, back yeah, they do. And, you know, they, they refer do. you to you know to their friends. Um, and I've, I've I've always been told I got a crazy you know eye for detail. You know, and yeah. I do. Um, I'll go get we'll get some pads that's stitched up or um, powder coat. If it's not right, you know. It's, yeah, it's, I'm one of those guys. I'm like, hey man, I don't. That's what it is. Really do it, you know? That's like that that attention to detail. I think that's what sets you apart because not everybody's gonna go with that like. Not, right. not everyone's gonna search for that that perfect part to fit. Right, right. You know, or get it restitched, or get something a, a pad set completely. You know, right. Custom, like it's just. Yeah, I think the most challenging one we've done to date was Dana White Powderhead whiskey. That was, if if you picture uh, me standing uh, in a shed building bikes, three years before that, or yeah. just say, and then fast forward three years, where I'm at UFC two, two UFC two seventy one. In Houston, uh, standing on the side of the octagon with Dana White, yeah, um, bringing him a spike he wanted to custom build. That was, yeah, that was like yeah. life changing moment in, in my in my company in my life. Yeah. So, because I'm sure back in the shed, you're you're not thinking three years out like no I'm man to be like hanging out with Dana <laughs> yeah. White or anything. Yeah, that's that's cool. I just stand back and like, man, this one turned out <laughs> good, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's really cool though that, and then now you've built it up into this shop. So tell us a little bit about the shop, where you're located, because you were we were talking earlier about how you you're kind of centrally located in right, right. In, in Texas. So I'm I'm centrally located in Texas. Austin is 100 miles west of me. Dallas is about 200 miles north. Houston is about 100 miles south. So I'm I'm centrally located. Um, you still I, are way out in the in the yeah <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm in the middle of here, man. And we're like, <laughs> Man, this is a long drive, yeah. and then, then we're seeing farms and stuff, and, yeah. and, we, and it's just. But it's awesome that you're able to build this out here in your hometown, right? Brian College you know? Station. We had thought about, and, and I do. I have people and celebrities um, offering me right now that want to go and, and open shops in Houston and Dallas and stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. You know, people, you know, want to go in business with you and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, right now, I'm fine. I'm a destination stop. I'm a destination. Stop. Mm -hmm. So we sell all the cool parts, everything under mm -hmm. one roof. Uh, we got a ton of bikes and stuff like that. So people are going to come to us. They they do all the time. Yeah, I'm fine right here where yeah. I'm at. And and a lot of our my main business is online. You know, mm -hmm. so we do. Uh, I'd say about I would say ninety percent. Fill, fill, it's filling about like eighty percent these days with the, mm -hmm. the walking customers from Houston to Dallas. Yeah. Houston. So well, I think the more people that know about you and where you're located, it's yeah. like it's worth it. Like you for us, like we we're from Hawaii, right? We don't see a shop. I mean, we have bike shops, but right. not where they have like you know the full custom stuff that we love to see because we right. have built some some pretty like we call bougie bikes, like you know like right. four hundred dollar pedals, like crazy. You know? oh, yeah, yeah. And um, there's no shop. That, really? Yeah, there's nothing like yeah. they, they'll sell like we have a big shop on Oahu that, that called the Bike Factory, and they sell a lot of, like the SCs and the Harrows, you know. But they don't right. they don't really build. They'll do some custom stuff for like maybe a Saran or whatever, and they'll build you whatever you want. But it's not right. like this in which they don't focus on the old school. They do sponsor like old school um, shows and stuff. Right, so right. They involve that way. But then like you know you can't go anywhere in Hawaii and find bullseye stuff. Right, right, right. You right. know, technique yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So it's really cool that if you're looking for that kind of stuff, you can just come right here and pick some stuff off, off the off the off the shelf. We we get we get lots of guys coming in, but we've we've had customers flying from out of state just to come look just at the shop. Um, and well, I mean, you're from Hawaii, you know. Yeah. Like, Let's roll over. Yeah. But so <laughs> it's uh, it, it's kind of it's almost start, starting to get kind of normal, you know. Mm. Um, you're gonna see more people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it's cool, and and you know, I, I do like having everything. We can kind of get everything you want, you know. Yeah. A full off one, you know, custom custom bike. Yeah. Uh, everything from the cranks to the to the stem to the brakes, the pedals, and to it, the frames, you know. And since you have, you kind of have like this background in cars, mm -hmm. so you know a lot of people that can do like you know powder coating and chrome plating and stuff like that. Right. So right. if you need to get that stuff done, you right. Have so connections. Have you ever called a chrome shop when you were a kid <laughs> with your bike? <laughs> Uh, we did things. We didn't even have yeah. that in back and back over. There was we'd thing. Man, we'd have a blue bike or something, you know, and right. Like, <laughs> you call to the local bike shop, see how much they charge to chrome plate it. My dad told me, "Oh, the bike shop chrome plate it for you." We called that. We called the multiple bike shop for kids. Who charge chrome? But we don't do that. So, and I've heard of other people saying that before. I don't know if y'all heard it, but yeah, 
You call my bike shop and we'll chrome plate it for you. We'll gold plate it, we'll engrave it, we'll copper yeah. plate it, we'll powder coat it, we'll paint it. Yeah. We'll do whatever you want to. We'll put diamonds on it. Uh, <laughs> that's just, we, we do we'll it out, whatever you want. Yeah, right? that's it, yeah. that's it. So that's pretty cool. So if you're looking for a bike like that, if you want something custom, like this is the place to come. But it's also cool just to hang out and just see some of the old school bikes on the wall and some of the parts. I mean, this is a great shop you got here. Great shop. Yeah, we try to we try to get everything. It's um, it's kind of a wreck over there, but that's kind of like the building area. You know, we're just like using yeah. the storage. But it, uh, at the end of the day, I want to add a lot more. Um, I'm just I'm kind of like a one man show, family owned and operated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my wife comes in, does the books, yep. and I do the bike building, the website, all the advertising. Which I got a good team behind me now, so there's a, a load going to be taken off of me where I can that's get good. back. Get you back. got the new website. Yeah, the the new website it's uh it's up. Well, the new website's not up. It's our original website. Oh, okay. Uh, but it is the name has changed to Fat Lip USA. Okay. www.fatlipusa.com. Um, so that's we still got bikes up there, but we are in the process of building a much bigger and better advanced website now to uh, keep up with all the volume and everything, that's where cool. it makes it a little bit easier on me and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah. Especially if you got like eighty percent of your stuff coming through the website, yeah, you got yeah, a good website yeah. that's handling all that stuff. It's um, sometimes you know it, it's it's working good now. I'm yeah. just trying to I'm, now I'm trying to plan for the future. Yeah, um, and it looks like it's going in that direction where we finally like all right. So, you know, we were thinking like I said, thinking about opening a retail store in town, but you know when you, you build a website, it's almost like buying a store. You know, same yeah, thing. Yeah, so it is. You're uh, paying a lot to, right. to have some stuff. And at the same time, with running the shop here, and you know. There will be probably retail shops. Well, I don't know. Can't really call future, mm -hmm. but we'd be interested in doing retail shops, you know, in the bigger cities and stuff yeah. like that. Eventually, to bring everything under one roof and, and be able to share it with the world too. Be cool. So, try to, anyways. So. Yeah. Well, good luck with that, and thanks yeah. for letting us hang out today. Yeah. We're definitely gonna stick around a little yeah. bit, show you some other, show you guys some other videos and uh, shots of some other things, but. Yeah, yeah for, man. Thanks for yeah, thank you all for coming over. Yes, we appreciate it. All the way from Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start getting a, uh, well, you can sign the banner over there. There's a bunch of, we got to, we got to get you out, out to like a show or something in Hawaii, you know, and then yeah. you do that as a tax write off. Yeah, I'm going to come out to a BMX show and then, you know, spend some time on the beach. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The last plane, I, 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 on the, the last plane ride to Hawaii for me. I remember getting off, I was like, man, I, I can't walk. I've been in this plane too long. <laughs> um, and my sister was like, well, they got those first class tickets on the way back. They're real cheap when somebody backs out. So I walked up to you know the airport. I'm like, y'all got any first class available? Man, I need to be in first class. And they're like, yeah, we do. They're like 2,500. Holy <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I do. I need to get back over there. It's beautiful over there, man. Uh, yeah, so if you guys are ever out in Texas, uh, come check it out. Uh, Again, phenomenal shop. You got to even just to come in and, and look at the stuff on the wall. It'll definitely bring you back. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching another one. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care of one another. Be safe. Uh -huh.